Just being here, back to work, will soon be enough for Trevor Norgan to qualify for a COVID-19 test in Saskatchewan. But he won't be rushing out to get one. Myself personally, like I don't necessarily feel I need to if I'm feeling healthy. Saskatchewan's testing capacity is relatively high, but demand is low. So starting Monday, the government will expand its criteria to include anyone working outside the home. No symptoms necessary. Hairstylist Shirley Vervok appreciates the testing option, but still feels she would wait for a cough or fever. I have a family that I go home to, so um, that would definitely be something I would want to do if I needed, to, if I felt like I needed to. Last week, Alberta introduced testing for asymptomatic people living in Calgary. 3,400 people got tested, more than 100 had the virus. A negative test today doesn't mean a negative test tomorrow. Generally, medical health officers have been reluctant to mass test asymptomatic people. The test itself is not as sensitive as we expected it to be at the beginning. But infection control specialist Colin Furness applauds Saskatchewan's plan. We need to be worried about contagion where people don't seem sick. That's actually what's most dangerous. So he argues provinces should go even further. We should be testing grocery store workers. We should be testing taxi drivers and transit operators, as well as frontline health folks. They're the canaries in the coal mine. This plan does not make testing of most workers mandatory. If it comes down to compelling testing, I think we may have to get to that point. That would definitely be a conversation that we would have as a team. And if everyone felt like that was the right path, then we would do it together. But for now, she will rely on other precautions, like wearing a mask, to keep that team safe. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.